Today we're looking at the top five things in Toronto history that never happened. Number five. We currently know it as College Park, but the original seven-story College Street Eaton's, which was open from 1930 until 1977, was supposed to be the crowning jewel of the Eaton's empire. The original plan had an addition of a 36-story tower, as you can see here. It would have been one of the tallest buildings in the world at the time, but as the Great Depression hit, as did the collapse of the plans of the tower. A special mention should also be made to the revamped 1971 plan to tear it all down and construct a 140-story tall tower, which would have been the tallest tower in the world. But that didn't end up happening either. Now let me briefly digress. If you are interested in Toronto history, please make sure to like this video, share it, comment on it, and as always, tell all your friends. Number four. The original Trinity College in Toronto was located right here in present day Trinity Bellwoods Park, opening in 1852. The independent religious university amalgamated into the University of Toronto in 1904, with the school moving to its current location right here in 1925. Although the school had expanded numerous times over the decades, an especially nice proposal had been made in 1903 by the famous Frederick G. Todd, who would later go on to design or help design Mount Royal in Montreal, the Plains of Abraham, and others. Frederick was an understudy of the renowned landscape architect Frederick Olmsted, best known as the designer of New York's Central Park. Let's take a closer look at Todd's 1903 proposal for Trinity College. As you can see, numerous improvements had been proposed. The construction of a major observatory for the Royal Astronomical Society of Canada, a new St. Hilda's College, the present-day dog bowl would have become a skating rink and a tidying up of the landscape in general. In the end, the school would start falling into disrepair, moving locations in 1925, with the building crumbling away until it's tearing down in the 1950s. Number three. The ill-fated Spadina Expressway was a remarkably controversial plan to construct a expressway from north of the 401 all the way downtown. The planning of this and other expressways dates back to the 1940s and in many different incarnations. This road here would have allowed for a quicker approach and commuting to downtown, but at the cost of Cedarvale, the Casaloma area, the annex, parts of Kensington Market, and many other important spaces. The project was partially built, Allen Road for example, but in 1971 after years of heated debate was scrapped. The opposition to the project was spearheaded by community groups and the likes of former Toronto Mayor John Sewell, Jane Jacobs, Margaret Atwood, and others. Number two. Now the plans for a civic square at Queen and Bay did end up coming to fruition with the construction of Nathan Phillips Square in the 1960s, but the plans for the space were long standing. As early as the 1910s, the city had decided to raise the ward and area around present day Nathan Phillips Square. They envisioned a grandiose space wherein a new city hall would be constructed, city offices, and green spaces. But with the onset of World War I and the Great Depression, plans were always delayed. Although the Registry of Deeds and Land Titles building was constructed, as you can see here. And number one. The late 1920s planned Vimy Circle would have significantly altered the landscape of Toronto's downtown. The Parisian-styled roundabout came very close to being built. You see, University Avenue at the time ended at Queen, as you can see in these photos and in these maps. The idea was to continue University South, with Vimy Circle making the southeast jog towards Union Station from Richmond. The name Vimy Circle clearly a nod to the Battle of Vimy Ridge in France in 1917, only a dozen or so years prior to the planning of the circle. Alas, like many of the grandiose plans for Toronto, the concept was cancelled due to the stock market crash in 1929. And here are some other interesting plans that never came to fruition. One of the many concepts for young Dundas Square, with a pool. University Avenue looking northwest across York Street in 1923. And here are some earlier designs of the Sky Dome in the 1980s. What are some of the things that you think should have happened in Toronto history. 
please leave your answers in the comment section below. Today we are counting down the top five things in Toronto history that, that was thunder, scary. 